Hey there, adventure friends. We're going to the middle of the world today. Yeah, yeah. Do you get your passport? I do have my passport. Apparently, they actually give you a passport stamp when you go to the middle of the world. Now, there's only one place in the world to get this, and that's the middle of the world here, here in Ecuador. So come with us on this journey. This is going to be so cool, supposedly the middle of the world where they put the monuments and I'm in the right spot. So we're gonna find the right spot today. Yeah, yeah. So we just jumped in the Uber and we are headed uh, up to the middle of the world and we're gonna see the official monument and the not so official big monument. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Okay. Two seconds, let me adjust the... I probably had it up. There we go. Ah! the whole time. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I got the big rig today. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the go-go. <laughs> big man with a little cam. So we just got out of the Uber and we're headed <laughs> directly to the center of the earth. Hi! Now, we have a little bit of intel that this first one that we go to really is not the center of the earth. Back in the 1700s, this explorer found this place and without GPS and, or any other sort of guidance system, calculated where the center of the earth was, but he was 240 meters off. Come to find out later in the 1900s when GPS was invented and geologists, you know, they got together and they're like, actually close, but not quite. But, we did some math and get this. I don't know if we're right, but this is just a guess. Ecuador moves or shifts about three inches every year because of all the tectonic plates in this region. So what if the guy was spot on without GPS? Who knows? He could have been. What do you think? Let us know. Let us know in the comments, yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Gracias. Gracias. Official. Official tickets. <laughs> Does it know whether we're in the center of the world? We need to be at zero, zero, zero? Yeah. On All this right. one here on the left. Almost there. We've made it. Yeah. There is the official, unofficial, Right up there, Boop. center of the world. Can I hold it? Yeah, can you hold it? Mm. Everybody else is holding that. I want to hold it. Do I have it? Yeah, raise your hand a little bit. <laughs> there you go, you got it right in your palm. It's kind of heavy. Is it heavy? It's a little bit heavy. <laughs> What do you think? It's pretty cool. I think it's so neat that they used astrology to figure out where the center of the world was and how close they got. That's, That's crazy. That's really crazy. So that means that they're probably doing it at night and then also watching maybe the arc of the sun. Yeah. 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 Maybe they had one of those tools called a sexton. That kind of helps you with uh, orientating somehow. 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 I'm not sure how it works, but figure out where it is. Seems pretty freaking cool. Well, it sounds Speaking like they... of sexton, look at the thing on the side of the wall over there. Is that a sexton? There you go. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> we have made it to the north. North. All right, 
So we made it to the middle of the world and supposedly <laughs> this is the equator line right here. I'm on the south, this guy's on the north. Yeah, yeah, this is pretty pretty sweet. Right now someone's got their drone up in the sky, flying it around. You can hear it buzzing. Hopefully yeah. it doesn't poop on my head. <laughs> I don't think they do that sort of I'm thing. I'm just joking. <laughs> that was funny, right? Yeah. But this thing is huge, absolutely massive up there. Uh, I would say it's probably a good... Three stories? Probably about 100 feet tall, maybe. It's pretty tall. We're on the top of the world now. That's right. In the middle of the world. Top of the middle of the world, the observatory, darling. Yes, yes. yes. I'm more impressed by the volcanoes, <laughs> can't lie. Volcanoes are cool. I am very impressed that like way back when, these guys found the middle of the world. Yeah. That was pretty spectacular. And they were pretty damn close to it. Yep. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> it's official. I've been to the middle of the world. So we visited the world-renowned site for center of the world. The official one. Yeah, but we looked at the GPS and funny thing, it wasn't zero, 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 even though they had signs everywhere saying it was zero, zero, zero. We're gonna actually go find where the true zero, zero, zero is. Darn tootin'. Sounds good. Looks like it's down this road right here. Okay, so we just learned about a crazy fish that swims up someone's urethra. Yeah, and then they get inside and they've got these spikes so they're really hard to get out. It's so called the pee-pee fish don't or the pee penis fish. Don't pee in the Amazon because if you pee in the Amazon, it will smell your urine and swim up your urethra. Number two, we learned how to shrink skulls. That was pretty crazy. No, not the skull, the, the head. head. Getting closer. Definitely getting closer. Not quite there yet, but I think we might get there. Maybe today. I hope so. Me too. Are you ready? Yep. One, two, and three. What? Oh, they are fine. Straight down. One, two, and three. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? One, no, no, no. two, and three. It's in medium flush. It's on. Counterclockwise. Wow. Is it? Is better? Is in counterclockwise. So we just found out that you're 2.2 pounds, one kilo lighter on the equator. We're gonna balance this egg in on the equator. Oh, 
Oh, you're really concentrating. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. I'm gonna give you right now a diploma, hey guys, a certificate. That what are you trying here? Ah! Hey, you, she got it. <laughs> Excellent job. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. No bueno. No bueno. Okay, let's try it one more time. No, Bryce, try it. Today, my biggest accomplishment was balancing an egg at Center Earth. It's pretty sweet. I got a certificate. <laughs> That's pretty rad. <laughs> That was a ton of fun. We just had an Ecuadorian dance party. Yeah, that was pretty sick. That was pretty cool. Brian was like the god in the middle being praised by all the people. <laughs> and you were pulled in by the guy with the devil mask. Yeah! That was pretty cool. That was so fun. Um, what do you think about this center earth versus the one we were just on? All right, so this one had tour guides. This one has like yeah. all these different exhibits and stuff that you can go see. More interactive. And, oh, definitely a ton more in interactive. Yeah. And it's called Buseo Intinian is what this one's called. And they also have the zero, zero latitude, which is pretty cool. Now, something that they did mention on the tour is that because of clouds and satellites and, you know, variances and in, in magnetism and stuff, it's hard to like pinpoint exactly where the zero, zero, zeros are. Um, and they said that most of the time on iPhones, you're gonna get about zero three to zero four. I just saw zero zero two, mm -hmm. now it's saying zero zero seven, so mm -hmm. yeah. But he said there's zero zero places all over the world yeah. because- It's the equator, the equator. yeah. Look Anywhere- at, I'm on both sides of it right now. Yeah, you are. What, what's cool about it is like, if you go along the equator and you just travel along the circumference of the earth, you're gonna experience zero, zero, zero constantly or like within a few minutes. Yeah. Because it's degrees, minutes, seconds. Yep. But this was really cool. This was a, I would say, my preferred experience yeah. over the two. This was a ton of fun. I like the super interactive. Um, what I take from this as like a business model, yeah. um, because these are two different businesses happening right now. We've yeah. got like the really fancy official government center earth look at this awesome super cool interactive beautiful like you feel like you're in nature and there's yeah. like all these cool totem poles and just like it's birds gorgeous. are flying around we saw, saw some of the mohawk birds yeah. and they're eating corn and stuff yeah i think the interactive experience is way more appealing yeah and they talked about the different cultures of the indigenous people mm -hmm. around uh, ecuador and you know the way they lived and, and everything it was really really interesting to see how they are all connected with the earth in yeah. some way and that's like that's like oh i love it I I love yes. being connected with the earth. I love running around without shoes on. Yeah. Right now it's a little chilly out. It's getting a little bit warmer right now, so <laughs> gotta wear some clothes yeah. occasionally. Yeah, the one tribe doesn't even wear clothes, yeah. which is kind of awesome. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, but I mean, those tribes still exist today. Yeah. So that was super interesting. Awesome place. If you're here, come check it out. Yeah, check it out. If you're in the keto area, you'll definitely enjoy it. And uh, yeah. if you haven't yet, go ahead and click subscribe, hit that bell to be notified every Monday, Wednesday, Friday that we come out with a brand new video of our travels, business, relationships. Living life how it should be lived. Darn tootin'. And until next time, friends. Adventure on. Adventure on. Bye from the center of the world. All right. Uh, let's take a moment to sing. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. Boop, boop, boop. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. Boop, boop, boop. Happy birthday, birthday. It's your birthday. Boop, boop, boop. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Dave Dog. Hope you have an amazing, amazing day. day. Love you from Ecuador. From the center of the world, dude. Woo! Bye. You get dizzier on the side of the road. Definitely. Alright, off to the next adventure. Bye.